YouTube, YouTube, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? I'm currently on uh, Fox Business with the heading Nantucket Restaurant Desperate to Fill Jobs. Therefore, they are hiring 8th graders. Yes, yeah, I said 8th graders. So, um, let's see. So, so the article was written by Angelica Stabile, and she goes, on the 20 Massachusetts Island of Nantucket, your restaurant server at the upscale restaurant this summer may have just come from middle school. The nationwide worker shortage has hit a new extreme, prompting Sh Chef Gabriel Frasca on Capitol Coast to Coast to explain that Straight Wharf Restaurant has is, is ordered to interviewing eighth graders. Eighth graders. Who are typically between the ages of, what, 13, 14, maybe 15? Wow. The article goes, we're at the point in the hiring process where only, we're not only as we are considering eighth graders, but we're interviewing them as well, he said. That's new for me, but, for me, but hey, he's got housing. Frasca explained that the restaurant location at Nantucket has a specific issue when it comes to hiring limitations and commuting is not an option. Altogether, the restaurant has been experiencing worker shortage in recent years, but he said it's, it's particularly acute right now. The Nantucket chef shared that his restaurant is offering even greater hiring incentives than before, including signing bonuses and housing. He goes, quote unquote, there are no applicants out there, he said, and why is it, and why that is the probably about my pay grade, but it's, a, it's the case. Or you might in the past get 20 applicants a day we're seeing one or two, and usually without applicable experience. Then the article goes, this is not a restaurant you can walk in and cook on the grill. And if you've been overseeing a storage facility, it's just not. Frasca reminisced on a hard lesson learned that it's never been worth it to fill positions just because they're vacant. A mistake he believes will, will probably be repeated in today's desperate climate. So, uh, fun fact, this is pretty funny because a couple, um, a couple of days ago, me and my, me and my significant other were driving around town and we drove by a, Pop a Popeye's, Popeye's restaurant. And at the front of the restaurant, the billboard st stated, now hiring minors. So for a lot of these restaurants, it's getting to the point that they're hiring young people. And um, when it comes to hiring a younger person, it's, it's more of a hassle because you need to um, contact the parents, contact the schools, and also even contact OSHA because of their young age. And um, like I said it before, it's unfortunate because um, a lot of people don't want to go to work now because they make more unemployment, and there's no incentive for them to go out there and get up, get dressed, brush their teeth, um, and go to and go to work when they get to stay home and hang out and get paid from the government. But it's ending soon in a lot of states because the um, what's that called? The um, the unemployment benefits are ending soon for a lot of states. I know in Florida, I think it just ended pretty soon. It ended recently and the other states is uh ending so i'm here at, on the u.s bureau of labor statistics on their website and uh, the, i did some research on this website and it stated that um in the month of may 559 jobs were added in the u.s let me repeat that 559,000 jobs were added in the u.s I'm not sure if it's high paying job, low paying job, high skill, low skill, mid skill. It doesn't it doesn't entail on that. But uh let me see. It says notable job gains occurred in leisure and hospitality, in public and private education, and in healthcare and social assistance. So it's it's in a, a broad base. But the point is if you want to work, you can work. I mean, if you're breathing and alive you can work, you can find a job. If you're breathing and can spell your name and and uh, do simple do simple uh, math, like one plus one equals two, you'll get a job. 
Um, I'm going to put these, uh, the show notes down below, guys. And that's it for me.